coated sword. How's it going? Twinned Knight Swords? Oh, it's a dual blade. Awesome. They've done a lot with dual blade. Oh, they've done a lot with uh, twin blades in this, which is awesome. How much text do you need to build this? It's arcane Strength X, and then I need Arcane of 19. That's why I can't do it. And I'm at Arcane of 13. Team. That's actually not too bad level-wise. I could possibly use this. Interesting. Very interesting. Coded. It's a key item. Don't look like it. Don't look like it. Read the sanctified one first. The sanctified wet blade with a cipher engraved can be used as a whetstone knife. When applied in a when applying an affinity using physical or golden type ashes of war, an additional affinity of sacred or lightning can be chosen. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so it is not. So it is a coded sword. Hidden sword once granted to the tarnish of round table of the round table by the two fingers. A formless cipher comprises its blade, which deals holy damage no shield can repel. Champions would gather at the round table hold in days long past when the two fingers were masters of oration, their flesh yet full of vigor. And be the cipher, uh, cipher blade with light, extending its length, and then strike with a sudden sweeping attack. Let's at least look at it. It's a freaking lightsaber. That's fun. If I was doing like a holy knight kind of build, that would be very fun. the lightsaber. Alright, so this is where the dude hangs out. And this is where the twin husks go. And this is where Dung Eater hangs out. So another seed bag curse is going to be here. And I have three of them. I wonder if the sea bag curses group or if they have separate things like the, the umbilical cords. Nope. Okay. It's got omen horns. It, it prevents dead souls from returning to the earth tree, leaving them forever cursed. So, Dung Eater hates the Erd Tree. That seems to be a thing. That's the wrong place. Wait, what? Confusion. Okay. This is where the blacksmith and what's her face and Bia hang out. Bia is here by my sword. Okay. Heroes. Let's look at by my sword. Kind of 
had his hand over his chest. Very nice, dignified sort of stance. And this is where Fia killed D. That's where I came in. Gotcha. Oh shit. <laughs> well, that's where the uh, Nephili is. Two finger per book. Black key bolts. Hello. Nest. Butthead. Only I had a pickle. There's got to be a way up. Well, that's the door through which we don't have a right. No up ahead. So this feels like a boss room. Surprise of Albrecht's pointed hat, robes, racers, trousers. I meant that character. Mad Tongue Albrecht's pointed hat, a sign of a heretical practitioner. Set with red glenstones, said to be formed by the blood of sacrifices, strengthens thorn sorcery. Albrecht was an aloof yet disturbed heretical sorcerer said to have been driven mad by jeering tongues during his service to the round table hold long ago. This is where all the nerd stuff is, so there it is. Yep, it's the same. It looks cool, though. It doesn't really help me, but it looks cool. Bet you I can find that one. Lightness bird. That's a cool puzzle. You know, it's just, it doesn't mean anything. It's not really for the story. It's just, hey, this guy was a painter. And it gives you stuff if you find his paintings. It's like, that's cool. You know? Dark Souls can be low key. If you let it, it did open the door. Well, before we do anything over there, we're going to go back and grab that item that we missed by dropping off. Yo! Oh yeah, that's death. Okay. Is 
This isn't the first time that they've done this either. And I know I'm going back to the old thing, but I kind of need to so we can keep our defense up. How far do I have to go to get that guy? Or I could just go inside. No, that's not inside. That big hit was blocked. That's it. Gravel stone seal. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Stone seal is is an incantation. I think it has to do with dragon sorceries. It's probably what it is. Do -do 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 -do. Gravel stone seal boosts dragon cult incantations. Boom! I did it. Uh, the worship of the ancient dragons does not conflict with belief in the earth tree. After all, with this seal and lightning itself, are both imbued with gold. So, there was the religion of the Erd Tree, and they were really into the Erd Tree. And then you got your uh, your Golden Order fundamentalists, which are a different sort of the same religion. Then you've got the Dragon Cult that are just they really really like dragons. I mean they're they're into the the Golden Order and all that, but the dragons are dragons are like super dope, so they like the dragon. Then you've got the omen that are kind of oppressed because they don't, they get all the horns and everything on them. They have a disease. So like, you are unclean. And they're like, well, we like our uncleanliness. You'll never make me shower. That kind of thing. Oh. Okay, then you've got the crucible that kind of are like the omen, I think. I think. Yeah, there's no way I can get up there from that part. Ah! 
down. It's down sword key. That's useful. But I think I'm already beyond six on these swords, so I don't know how useful it's going to be for me to get all these smithing stones. Okay, so that's what I was seeing on the other side. So I don't know how to get to that other bit. So we're going to look into the inside. It doesn't look like we can get it there from the outside. Oh, huh. just open the door. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh. Yes, there's a lever, huh? I guess there's another way to get through. Oh, good. I hate these guys. Another one outside. Beautiful. Oh. Done. So I guess you can come at it from this end? Somber Smith is on six. Oh no. Run away. Stormhawk axe. Oh, Stormhawk axe. Oh. Get away from me. I don't believe in you. No, this is a very similar tower. This isn't the one that I was on. Oh no, it is. Ah! And we have looped around in real time. All right, let's see what we can do for boosting ourselves level-wise. Oh, we could probably do quite a bit. That's 20,000 runes, 15,000 runes, 12,500 runes, 7,500 runes, 6,000, well, let's grab the 20, because that'll put us at 56, or 46, and for a level, we need 57. So we need another 11,000. It does not say how many souls. Interesting. We need 11,000, so we're going to use one of Newman's ones. I 
could go up an arcane. I think I'm gonna pump decks. No, it's only one level here. I'm at almost level 100. That's weird for me in a Souls game. I don't usually like level up a ton. But here we are with triple digits. Oh yeah, was this not able to be used and now it can't? Well, this is the Divine Tower. Isolated Divine Tower. Well. I don't know what to do with this yet, but I know where it is now. I've explored most of this. Sanctuary. Okay, I know what that is. We got West Capitol Rampart. So there are multiple floors in the fortified manor. Table hole. I don't see a way up. But this definitely has a move. Well, this side's been fully explored then. So I'm not sure what they want. Okay, I can think of something. No, because that would be the throne room. I should go to round table hold here. Because now I've um, I've completed his mission. I've gone to the capital Landale. So that's that one. Then we go to the opposite way, and this should be that throne room downstairs. Probably. It is. Just checking around, making sure that we're not going, we're not running around when there was obviously a passage I could go into. But so far, there isn't.
What does one do when you are a tarnished and you don't know where the fuck to go? Go to round table hold, I expect. Great, but yeah, that's gonna be strength. So I'm not gonna do that. I'll go for do, 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 do. Now, with the new context, let's look down. It does look basically exactly the same. You know what? We only have 900. Let's see if we can do it. Welcome. Interesting. Mad Tongue Albrecht. Every single NPC invader by the time I get it. As by the time I get to it, they're like, oh, I'm dead. Let's look under multiplayer arms. It is a multiplayer arm. Taunter's Tongue. Lures in invaders. This allows your world to be invaded without any furl finger operators present and it also shortens the interval between windows of opportunity for invasion additionally enables the arrival of a second invader to join when a cooperator is present with two invaders the maximum number of cooperators becomes one interesting wow look at all the people that died uh, i can't open that door and i can't open that door so i guess Oh, look, there's a door over here. Hello? Cypher Pata. I have no clue where to look for a Pata. It's a fist item. One of the weapons originating from the two fingers, a formless sequence of ciphers comprises its blade, and as such, no shield can repel it. It deals holy damage. The furtive inscription appears to hang in the air. The language of the light spoken by the two fingers. His fist weapons. Oh my god, it's a little lightsaber. That's hilarious. And then I've just got a big old fist. Oh, I'm dual wielding. That's amazing. I bet you those uh 